Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's review. I am your host, Prue, and joined, joining me as always is the other host, Mr. Marty Mango. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm uh, I'm away for a work trip, so I'm actually in a hotel room right now, so I'm hoping my audio comes through okay. Yeah. I think you sound fantastic. I hope others will agree with me. That's very sweet. I, I hope they agree with you, too. <laughs> uh, so what game did we cover this week? We played Gnome's Garden 2. Not to be confused with Gnome's Garden 1, 3, or 4. Um, it was published by 8 Floor and developed by SPL. Now, this is an older game for us. This was released October 30th, 2018 for the low, pro- low price of $4.99. Or it's now available in a 3-in-1 bundle for $9.99. So if you really like Gnome Garden 2, you can get 1 and 3 for a discounted price. So about three thirty-three dollars each. So what? How would you classify this game? Um, like resource time management, I guess. I'd say inventory slash time management. Yeah, it's um top down, and you control these little gnomes, I guess, or maybe you don't control the gnomes, and the gnomes are the bad guys. I can't remember. But you, uh, I think the gnomes are the good guys. Okay, all right. Uh, and basically, you just have to. Uh, make your characters move from one end of the screen to the other, collecting resources, building things, and fending off what little opposition there is. Um, it's okay. I yeah, think. It's, it's okay. It, it seems like it would be better with a mouse. Yeah, 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 definitely. It, it feels like a PC game or a phone game where you point, click, point, click, point, click. Yeah, I think... The controller's a little laggy in terms of yeah, I, it's too slow. I definitely agree. I think to me it feels like a mobile game. I'm, I'm not sure if it was or not, but it definitely feels like one. Um, and it's one of those things where you click on the building and they, they run to the building and get the resource, or they upgrade the building, or you click on the rock and they break the rock. Um, and basically that's it. There's not, you know, from the first world, the first stage on, they don't really add much. You know, a no. little <laughs> power up here, maybe, you know, a little something there, but mostly it's just. Uh, kind of ramping up and it just gets a little bit more uh, the timing gets a little more tight as you go on. Yeah, the management gets a little bit harder where you may not have the item you need like stone, but there'll be a trading place that'll give you stone if you give it four pieces of food. So I, I, that's the one mechanic that kind of gets added as the game goes along. But there's altars, altars too, that randomly give you things. But yes. other than that, it's pretty much the same thing as you go through the game. I think there's about 40 levels, I think, if I counted right. Something That's close to that, right. yeah. And I think I was in the high 20s, and there's an achievement for getting three stars on all the levels. And I don't know about you, but there was there's two or three levels that I actually had to skip. And ju- I'm not skip the levels, but I had to only get two stars. Um, because I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I just, it doesn't seem possible. And so to me, like the... Um, the balance is all off. The uh, what is the word? I can't think of the word right now. But um, well, it, it, just the scaling's a little off, and I would say because you'll have a level that you fly through. We have plenty of time left at three stars, and then the next level, they just change one little thing, and it's hard to even get two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would agree with that. I, I was about. I'm. A, I'm going to be an oddball in this game. I was about 36, 37 levels done. And I went to load up the game the other day, and uh, it said, did the cloud sinking thing, which this game never has done that for me before. And I accidentally hit skip. So I loaded up the game, and it loaded up to the first level. I'm like, oh, crap, I need to stop this. So I exited out, deleted my save that was on the system, loaded back up again, and uh, I lost my save file. So, <sighs> so being that the game is probably about six to eight hours of um, extreme repetition... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go back and do it again. But that being said, I have all four versions of the game, or all four different games, which, by the way, are all identical. Even the achievement lists are almost identical. Um, I don't know if I really want to torture myself in that fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's heartbreaking. If you, It does seem like if you did want to do it again, you would just play one of the other ones to get more achievements. Exactly, because yeah. the, the game is exactly the same. That's funny. I didn't know they were that similar, but I can definitely see it. It, it feels budget in a lot of ways. Yes. Um, it really does feel like they just slapped it from either a very, very small PC game or a mobile game. But 
Um, so let's talk about the achievements then. There are 12. Hey, just like an old uh, XBLA game, huh? Yeah, it's okay. just like an old X XBLA game. 12 for 1,000. Um, there's currently about 731 track gamers, and 288 have finished it. So the game is definitely doable. I'm guessing of the 500 or so that haven't finished it, 400 of them got bored. Yes, I, I think that's almost certainly the case, because it's difficult to sit down for more than, I'd say, four stages at a time. It gets very boring, yeah. especially if you can't get the three stars, and then you just get frustrated, and then you're just like, I'm not going to just keep playing the same level over again. Um, yeah, I, I say it's best taken in small bites. Do three, to, you know, between three and five levels at a sitting. I mean, it'll take you 10, 15 minutes, but that's a bit about all you can kind of stomach. Um, the achievements come pretty fast at the beginning when you start playing, so if you play it for an hour or two, you'll get a good 600 or so gamer score out of it, but after that it starts getting a little tedious, <laughs> to, to put yeah. it lightly. I would say, like, if this game had 30 levels, it would probably be manageable or okay, but it just... Yeah, I think it's, it's a little bit too... It's, it's weird to say a game is being too long, but when it's so repetitive... It does get a little long in the tooth. Yeah, it just feels like there's just a bit too much, and you just you you're daunt. It's a daunting thing when you open up the game and you're like, oh my god, I've I've played this game for like four hours and I still have you know half the map to go. So it's not terrible. I actually I kind of like the actual gameplay. I just don't like getting frustrated with it, and so that really discourages me. Yeah, it, the frustrating part, and then also just. The repetition where you get to a certain point and there's nothing new. Like, yeah. the game doesn't offer any new mechanic. You already have done everything in the game. It's just kind of grinding through the last bit of it to finish it. Yeah, so um, so I guess you're not going to go back to it, huh? I, you know, I'm I'm kind of changing the way I play in games. I, I'm really slowed down in my gamer score stuff, so I I may go back to it. But I, like I said, I don't know how much how much torture I want to put myself through. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know Chin has talked quite a bit about these games, so um, and I, I'm not sure if we're uh, as favorable towards them as he is, but it, it... Yeah, I mean, they're cheap, yeah. and they are relatively easy. I mean, for the most part, they're relatively easy games. Yeah, and I can definitely see them being appealing to, to a certain type of gamer. It's just... It's, it's kind of like Angry Birds, right? Where it's like... Yeah, well, it's yeah almost that would be a good reference. In the beginning, you know, but it's just like you don't want to do 7,000 different levels of it. You just want to do a couple levels at a time to be done with it. Yeah, that's the problem Angry Birds had. It just kept on having more and more and more levels. It's like, why do I have this many levels to play this? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. This is not fun anymore. Yeah, but it is cheap. Like you said, you can get all three games for 10 bucks. So that's, uh, in terms of uh, value, that's pretty good. Yeah, I would concur. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I think that's it. Do you have anything else to say about Gnome's Garden Two specifically? No, I don't, I don't think so. I, not, not anything specific. But if you like Gnome's, if you like games like this, there are four of them available. Um, one, two, three, and uh, I think it's the New Home is the last one. They don't call it four. Oh, interesting. But uh, but uh, definitely, I mean, if you're into inventory management games and just something that's you can take in quick bites, it's almost like a mobile game. Uh, check it out. Yeah.